Amber is the brand new legendary brawler that attacks by firing a continuous stream of fire that can pierce through enemies. She has a long range with a reliably high damage output. And today we're gonna be looking at 10 tips and tricks to help make you a better Amber player. Baby's dead. Be sure to watch this video all the way through to the end and let me know in the comments below how many of the tips you already knew. Without further ado, let's get straight into the list. Tip number one is play Brawl Ball. Amber is currently one of the strongest brawlers in the game, and she can handle her own in just about any game mode, but she stands out as unmatched in her ability to dominate Brawl Ball games. I was able to get her to rank 25 in one day by playing Brawl Ball pretty much exclusively. Because she technically has 40 ammo, she can pass and shoot the ball around like crazy. And since Brawl Ball maps are small, she can control her lane with no problem at all. And now that the Brawl Stars team have updated the matchmaking system to be a little bit more relaxed, where you're not matchmaking against literally the best players in the world, it makes it a lot easier to take a group of high skill friends, come together, build a team, and win a bunch of games. If your goal is to rank up Amber as quickly as possible, you are going to be able to do that efficiently by playing Brawl Ball. Tip number two is take careful shots in Brawl Ball. Amber is the only brawler whose attack cannot be aimed before firing it, meaning that you have to aim it while it's already coming out. For this reason, you have to be really careful about when you're attacking opponents that have the ball near your goal. I know, weirdly specific, but what happens is, if you're already attacking an opponent and they shoot the ball at you, you're immediately going to shoot it right back at them because Amber's attacks are so fast. And it could turn into a situation where your opponent scores on you because of this. That happened to me several times while playing her in Brawl Ball. And I found a couple of solutions to this. If you keep a tiny bit of distance between you and your opponent, when they're shooting the ball, you'll have a chance to redirect your attack away from them so they don't grab it right back and either shoot it into the goal or walk it in. Or just use auto aim when they're really in tight spots so that they don't have an opportunity to recollect the ball. Getting used to her shooting mechanic takes some finesse, but with a bit of practice, you'll be kicking butt in no time. Tip number three is fire fluid control. Amber's super creates a giant puddle of fire fluid on the ground that nearly takes up a five by five tile space. And if it's ignited while an opponent is standing on it, they'll burn for a lot of damage. So naturally, opponents wanna stay the heck away from it at all costs. And it's for this reason that it works as a great crowd control ability. Just placing it on the ground and letting it sit there is enough to keep opponents out of an area. I don't recommend using her super to threaten an opponent while you're already fighting them because it can easily get ignited accidentally by Amber's attack and you'll waste the super. Instead, place it down somewhere you want to prevent people from going so you can freely fight elsewhere and ignite it when the time is right. You can also save your fire fluid for tight situations when you need to get an opponent off your tail. Tip number four is keep your distance. Amber gains much more leverage against opponents when she's got some distance away from them. In general, you want to stay away from up-close fights when using Amber, because if your opponent is moving around a lot and they're close to you, your chance of hitting attacks is greatly reduced and you're far more likely to get killed. Keeping a safe distance and peppering shots at brawlers will give you a much better win percentage in fights, especially in Showdown. There are, however, situations where you're going to want to dive in on someone, especially if you're planning on hitting them with the super and igniting it to finish them off. You be the judge of when to do that. This tip, however, does not apply when facing sharpshooters because Amber's so weak against them. When facing these types of brawlers, in general, you're gonna wanna keep some sort of barrier between you and them while looking for opportunities to safely engage. Tip number five is tap attacks. Amber has the most ammo of any brawler now and probably forever. Her main attack has 40 shots which can feel like an amazing bottomless pit of ammo when you're melting someone down, but if you're not careful, you'll burn through all of it in a matter of seconds, leaving you open to getting stomped by your opponents. That's where the auto-aim tap attack comes into play. You'll have to gauge when to use this appropriately, but in general, you want to use this type of attack to conserve ammo and pressure your opponents away from you. There are even certain situations where you can completely finish someone off by just tapping out shots. For instance, against glass cannons like throwers. This strat also works really well when brawlers are right in your face. Quickly tapping the auto-aim attack will hit them more often than simply holding it down. 
Tip number six is Gadget and Super. There's an incredible amount of synergy between Amber's Super, her gadget, and her star power. All of them work together to create an oil spill that would even make Exxon offended. The sheer distance and breadth of this thing is massive, giving you and your teammates unbelievable crowd control. In some cases, you can literally create a barrier all the way across the map to threaten your opponents with. So it's really important to practice how you position all that fire fluid. Here's a few examples. Two puddles on either side while you fight in the middle. How about totally drenching your specific lane with fire fluid? Or dousing sensitive areas like near a goal or by the gem mine. The possibilities are totally left up to your imagination as to what the situation demands. So get creative. Tip number seven is burn the grass. Amber is extremely weak against up close opponents like Shelly, Leon, Bull, and others that like to hide in bushes or grass. To combat this, she's able to use her fire fluid to burn down these hiding spots and give her greater visibility against close range brawlers. Since keeping a distance from your opponent is so important to playing Amber, the less grass that's on the map, especially in showdown, the better chance you'll have of winning in fights. It's really simple. All you have to do is toss your fire fluid on a patch of grass, ignite it, and it's gone. Tip number eight is dodge snipers. Amber is also weak against sharpshooters like Brock, Piper, Rico, and others that outrange her. Because most of these brawlers have very long range versus her long range, it's easier than normal for them to pick her off without getting killed. When laning on a team, I would suggest avoiding sharpshooters and leaving them for teammates that can better handle them. If you run into a piper, I suggest getting as close to her as possible and then attacking her in order to capitalize on that weakened short range shot. With others that don't have range dependent nerfs like piper, it's going to be all about keeping a barrier between you and them and looking for the opportunity to pop out and get shots off. That combined with weaving unpredictably against your opponent will hopefully help you fare better against sharpshooters. Tip number nine is sneaky fire. This is somewhat of a meta strategy here, but it can actually be very effective in certain situations. There are moments in matches when nothing seems to be working out. Your opponents are hard countering your every move, and it looks like you're about to take a fat L. That's when it may be time to try out the sneaky fire strat with Amber. Basically, you're gonna try to play her similar to a tank in key moments of a match. Instead of being out in the open, making yourself vulnerable and showing your position, you're gonna wanna hide in certain high traffic areas on a map with your super ready to go, especially in 3v3. If you can catch your opponents off guard with a massive surprise attack where you hit everyone with the super and a couple of flames, you're likely to turn the tide of a match. You may die in the process, but it gives your teammates a chance to finish them off and make a big counter play. This works best if you have your teammates on voice chat, but of course, use this at your own discretion. And finally, tip number 10 is team synergies. Amber synergizes well with brawlers that can make up for her weaknesses. She does a great job at damage output and can honestly carry a team by herself, but it's nice to pair her up with close range brawlers just in case an opponent tries to get in her face. Brawlers like Primo, Shelly, or Jackie are excellent options for duo showdown. Also, any healer works decently. Even passive healers like Jean or Tara make for solid teammates. When the inevitable balance changes come to get her, team comps will vary, but in general, it's a smart idea to build a team around her damage potential and support her in the areas she's weakest. Well, there you have it. What did you think of the tips? Do you have some that didn't make it? Let us know in the comments below. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please be sure to leave us a like and hit subscribe for more weekly Supercell content. And we'll see you next week on Bailey's Dad. Bye-bye.